Hi, welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to allocate an unallocated disk that says read only on Windows OS. <laughs> Now in this scenario I'm working with Windows 7 uh, this is pretty much the same for all Windows and you can see here I have the disk management uh, tool opened so to get that open you can just press the Windows key and the letter R and this will open up your run command or you can type in run and then within the run command just type in disk mgmt.msc so this will open uh, the disk management tool so press OK and you can see it opens it up there now if we take a look at this you can see we have this unallocated disk right here uh, it's completely empty it hasn't been used uh, at all um, and you can see if I try to right click and create a new simple volume it doesn't allow me to do that and that is because it's on read only so what we're gonna do now is manipulate this using the disk partition tool that's built into Windows so you can go to the start menu and type in disk part and you can see there's an option there for disk part and this will open the disk partition tool however I prefer to run it from my command prompt so cmd simply because I get to keep my custom fonts and all that stuff so I'll type in disk part all one word and this will open up the disk partition tool and now we can just type in list disk and this will just show us all the disks that are on the machine it allows us to confirm that we are in fact uh, trying to work with this uh, disk 2 right here so we can confirm on disk management and on CMD as well for disk partition so we'll say select disk 2 so disk 2 is now the selected disk and then all we simply have to do next is type in attributes disk clear read only so this will clear off the read only on the disk so a t t r i b u t e s and then disk clear read only all one word and you can see it says disk attributes cleared successfully now if we go back here you can see that it now says online and we can right click and we can say new simple volume and start it all up again so that's pretty much how you get rid of the read only on a disk within windows os if this video helped you out don't forget to leave a like down below and of course leave a comment if you have any questions as well also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video